Hey y'all, this is Gun. This is Sean Gerber from Reduce Cyber Risk. This is part of my CISSP exam questions. RCR Echo 008. We had we had James Bond yesterday. Now we have 008. I gotta love it. It's good. Domain two asset security. Okay, we're gonna be talking about IT's ownership of all of this stuff in this question. What is IT's responsibility as it relates to business data? A, ensure the owner takes responsibility. B, protect the data per the owner's direction. C, ensure all data is properly classified. Or D, none of the above. What is IT's responsibility as it relates to business data? A, ensure the owner takes his responsibility. B, protect the data per the owner's direction. C, ensure all data is properly classified. And D, none of the above. Which one is it? Answer is B, it's IT's responsibility to ensure that the data is protected in the best possible way, depending upon the tools available. And you need to do this based on the owner's direction. If the owner doesn't know, you need to protect it the best way you see fit. However, you do not own the data. You need to make sure that there is an owner who owns the data to give you direction and guidance on what to do. Communication. Is it the cybersecurity leader's responsibility to ensure proper communication occurs with all key leaders? A, true, B, false. Is it the cybersecurity leader's responsibility to ensure that proper communication occurs with all key leaders? A, true, B, false. Answer is true. Communicate, communicate, communicate. It is extremely important that a cybersecurity personnel communicate with all key leaders within an organization. Can't stress it enough. You got to do it. You got to over communicate. It's all about influence and you need to communicate as much as you possibly can to individuals within your company, especially when it, as it relates to cybersecurity stuff. All right. Again, communication, it's your responsibility. Did I say that enough? I think so. All right, persuadonisms. No, not persuado. Pseudonisms. Yeah, I can't say that word. It's a big word. It's a $20 word, and I can barely say $3 words. So, pseudonisminization. That's it. Or a friend of mine used to say, pseudo. That's not pseudo. All right, what is an example of pseudonisminization? A, B, Bill Smith is 112343. B, Jenny Smith is patient 34532. C, Bill Smith is Smith B. Or D, none of the above. Again, what is a pseudonymism? I don't know what that's. I don't know. It's a pseudonymism. Bill Smith, one, one, two, three, four, three, or Jenny Smith, patient three, four, five, three, two, or Bill Smith, Smith B, or none of the above. And the answer is B, Jenny, good old Jenny. Name being tied to an item that may fit in a person, but is still not identifiable. Obviously, Jenny is patient three, four, five, three, two. When I was in the military and I was stuck in POW camp, part of our training, I was criminal 64. Yeah, I remember that very, very well. It's one of those things you will never, ever, ever forget is being criminal 64. Yes, or you're depending on what criminal you were, if you depend on when you went through, but criminal 64 sticks with me pretty, pretty close, pretty close. All right, that was it. Pseudonymism. Yeah, I can't say that word. Ten, $20 word. All right, what does data remnants mean? Data remaining after the media has been deleted. That's A. Data restored from a backup, that's B. Data images deleted from a system, C, or none of the above. Data remnants is data remaining after the media has been deleted. Data is restored from backup. Data images deleted from a system, C, or none of the above, that's D. And the answer is A. Data remnants refers to data still remaining on a system after the media has been deleted from the system. So it's what's left over. It's rem remnants of it. Remnants. Yeah, that's it. Data remnants. It's what's left over after it's been deleted from the system. A. Data remaining. Has been deleted. All right. So there's a training. Udemy.com. You can check it out. Again, all these questions come from my Udemy training that I put out on domains one through eight. It's amazing. You will love it. I guarantee you. And with Udemy, here's the other thing. They give you a heck of a good price. So you just go and type in CISSP certification dash or do you have to have dash? Just put Sean, S-H-O-N, Gerber. Like the baby food, like the knife, or like the amazing toilet that is in the Gerber name. ReduceCyberRisk.com. You can go there as well. Slash, forward slash, C-I-S-S-P dash training, and it will take you to the same links. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.